we have to have something sweet. So I am making African puff puff. It's a form of a donut. First, I'm gonna work on the dough. I have three cups of self-rising flour. Puff puff is a puff fried dough that can either be savory or sweet. In this case today, I'm making it sweet. I'm serving it with a mango papaya sauce, right? I'm gonna add one cup of sugar, one packet of instant yeast, three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg, adding a little warmth to the dough. All right, I'm going to add one and a half cups of warm water. Now, it is very important to have your water between the temperature of 120 and 130. Anything over will kill the yeast. So it has to be that temperature. And now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. All right, I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap. Okay, I'm gonna let this hang out back here. I gotta fry my dough, but I need to make my sauce first. This is gonna be a super simple mango and papaya sauce. I have some fresh mangoes and papaya that I have cut up. And if you can't find fresh, you can always use frozen, but make sure it's thawed. Three tablespoons of sugar, a quarter cup of lime juice. I'm just gonna cook the fruit until it breaks down, and then I'm just gonna pulverize it up and make it into a sauce. All right, I have some oil here, preheated to 325 degrees. I'm gonna get my dough that has been rising and has doubled in size. Let me show you something. You get a scooper like this, dip it in the oil, grab a little bit of this dough, and work fast and drop it in. And I'm gonna do this fairly quickly because it doesn't take long for them to cook. As the name suggests, they will puff up when they hit this heat. And I'm gonna do this in a few batches. And a few are already done. Pull these out over here. They're nice and golden. I'm gonna hold off on frying the rest of my dough. I need to get to this sauce. My mango and papaya have cooked down quite a bit. I am going to just pulverize this and make it into a sauce. All right, that looks thoroughly blended. And I mean, I might as well grab a puff puff and try it, huh? Let's see. Look at that. The sauce just coats this puff puff so nicely and it's so, man, this is beautiful. The great thing about puff puff is it's a street food. You can find it in different uh, variations. You can eat it just like this. You can make it savory or you can roll it in cinnamon sugar as soon as it comes out the oil. Oh my gosh. That's super crunchy, really, really soft in the center. And then that natural sweetness from the papaya and the mango and a little bit of acidity from that lime juice. Wow. Oh man. Oh. Take me back to the motherland. So